TikTok famous surgeon lost medical license. There's a TikTok doctor who was more concerned with filming her patients during surgery than the safety and well-being of her patients. Dr. Roxy is TikTok famous with over 825,000 followers on the app. Her negligence along with her obsession with TikTok has led to her medical license being permanently revoked. But her lack of professionalism and poor judgment in delegating her responsibilities to others appears to have significantly contributed to her falling below the standards of care. What happened for this dancing TikTok surgeon to lose everything? We'll get into that, but first, take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and click the notification bell for all updates. If you're watching from the Columbus, Ohio area, let me know below. In recent years, we've seen several different women who lost their lives after having elective cosmetic surgery, some of them out of the country in places like Mexico and the Dominican Republic, and some of them in the United States, a lot of stories out of Miami, Florida. The last one to make headlines was DC Young Fly's girlfriend, Miss Jackie O, who passed away in Miami after undergoing surgery with a non-board certified doctor, Dr. Oka. Developing right now, the death of a TV star right here in South Florida. Jackie O, a former cast member of Wild and Out, reportedly died after a cosmetic procedure. There was also the one story about the 45-year-old grandmother of 11 from Indiana, that's Tanisha Walker, who also had surgery in Miami with a triple board certified surgeon, Dr. Simmons. The family of an Indiana woman who died after a plastic surgery procedure is the latest family looking for answers about how this could all happen. So many impacted here. And now you have a plastic surgeon out of the Columbus, Ohio area, Dr. Catherine Roxanne Growey, better known as Dr. Roxy, being accused of injuring patients while live streaming some procedures on TikTok. Never again will she be able to work as a doctor in Ohio after the state medical board voted on Wednesday, July 12th, 2023 to permanently revoke her medical license. The board found that Dr. Roxy neglected her patients as she live streamed parts of their procedures, spoke into a camera, and answered viewer questions all about surgeries were taking place. So here we have a surgeon. She's got these women on the operating table under anesthesia, performing lipo, BBL, implants, all these surgeries. And not only is she on TikTok, but she's using these different medical instruments on these patients. And instead of looking at what she's doing to them, she's more focused with looking into a camera and talking to a bunch of people on TikTok. Yes, the TikTok audience was more important than the lives of the women that she had in her hands. Fortunately though, no one passed away, from my knowledge, but you have some women who said they were injured by Dr. Roxy and experienced complications. I went in the ER on Friday and um, today is Sunday and I'm still here. <laughs> Um, they're gonna keep, keep me again. Um, definite infection. Um, I know one is a stab infection, and there's another one. I'm not too sure what it's called, but um, try to share this as much as possible. So hopefully more people come forward um, because this is, this is not okay. Um, she's basically flipped my life upside down. She also had patients who claim when they had post-op complications. They would reach out to Dr. Roxy only for her to advise them not to call 911, not to seek medical attention. Luckily, those women had enough common sense. They knew their bodies. They knew not to listen to a moron telling them not to get medical treatment. Some of them accused Dr. Roxy of not wanting any other doctors examining them, more so to protect her brand, but not the patients. As a result of all these claims and a few lawsuits, Dr. Roxy was suspended back on November 18th, 2022 by the Ohio State Board and she made her TikTok private. Then nearly nine months after that decision, the board decided not to reinstate her license. Instead, they permanently took them away from her. She called herself Dr. Roxy and posted videos of her procedures on TikTok. Plus, she had numerous complaints of botched surgeries when now the state medical board is permanently altering her career. Pal plastic surgeon Catherine Grawi now has her license revoked. 
and is no longer allowed to practice medicine in Ohio. And this decision comes after the same board suspended her license last year following complaints from patients. Right, Sarah Johnson attended those board hearings and she joins us now. Uh, you were in the room today when the medical board made this decision. What was that hearing like? Well, she called the suspension initially humbling, just working without a license. She said it was a very humbling experience, but some of those board members, they really did not hold back when they were discussing the nature of this situation. Their decision to permanently revoke the now infamous TikTok famous plastic surgeon, her license. But her lack of professionalism and poor judgment in delegating her responsibilities to others appears to have significantly contributed to her falling below the standards of care. Stern words from Dr. Jonathan B. Fable, just one member of the 12-member board tasked with investigating complaints and issuing, or in this case, revoking license as deemed fit. Dr. Rockton claims that this will change her life forever. Well, she has single-handedly forever changed the lives of at least three people. It was the concerns of not meeting the standard of care that brought the physician to this point. As early as 2018, Dr. Groy was asked to address concerns of patient privacy on social media. The plastic surgeon often posted behind the scenes video, often shot in an operating room. The board also sent notice to the surgeon explaining three patients treated from 2020 to 2022 were treated inappropriately or given improper discharge papers. Those concerns plus others, including a recovery house run by the surgeon not staffed by medical professionals and surgeries performed in an office setting without the proper licensure were all evaluated by the board. And sometimes I did silly or fun videos simply to make people smile in this world which is often negative and difficult to navigate. And for the first time, the physician spoke publicly, calling the initial suspension humbling and pleading for another chance. But for former patients at the hearing, the plea simply wasn't enough. Former patient Mary Jenkins won a civil case against the former doctor. She says the license revocation is in a sense closure, but adds the damage she and so many other women live with will never go away. It'll never go away because every time we look down and we see a scar, we're going to remember. And Dr. Catherine Grawe does have the option to appeal this decision on top of having her license revoked. She is also ordered to pay $4,500 based on her failure to meet the standard of care. Jared. All right, Sarah. Dr. Roxy was a TikTok marketing machine. She knew exactly how to get people into her business. The dancing TikToks. The bra cutting ceremonies. And better things. See you. Yeah. She's ready. Never. Oh, yeah. And that pencil test to tell them that they needed a lift surgery. All of that brought in millions of views. It's like she knew exactly what to say in order to get women to follow her. I want to talk a little about your practice, about what sets you apart at Roxy Plastic Surgery. Well, I think there's a couple things. One is we are all female, so we really make people feel very comfortable there. The women feel like they're at home, they can come in like they're at a spa, but they get to talk about anything they want to completely openly. And then her patients didn't do much research, especially after she blew up on TikTok. They were more starstruck that they had a TikTok famous surgeon. For starters, whenever Dr. Roxy asked me to do that TikTok with her, I was like starstruck. I was so pumped for that and it was just so much fun to make that in the office. Yeah, those videos of them jumping around like they're about to have a party and not major surgery, that's the type of marketing that got a lot of eyeballs. The problem is everybody's experience didn't turn out so great. That's how she ended up with several lawsuits and ended up before the state board. Here's Dr. Kelly, double board certified practicing in Beverly Hills, explaining one of the injuries that Dr. Roxy's patients allegedly suffered from. So I've had a few DMs with people asking me questions about the Dr. Roxy situation, and in particular about the complication that everyone's talking about, which are called anerotomies. Anerotomies are holes in the intestine that can happen when you're liposuctioning the abdominal wall. And so I've had a lot of questions about how this happens and how to prevent it. 
So here's the instruments we use in liposuction. This is the tumescent cannula and this is the liposuction cannula. So this injury is actually much more common to happen from the tumescent cannula. This is the small cannula that we put the numbing solution is. So you can see this is really tiny and, and looks more pokey. This is much more likely if it makes it into the abdomen to cause an injury in the intestine. Okay, so this is one of my PAs, Christine, and she is going to be my model patient today. So when we're doing abdominal liposuction, it's really important that the cannula is at this angle and that we don't get like this. Obviously, everyone knows if you're going like this, that's bad. We don't want to put the cannula for liposuction in the abdomen. We want it right under the skin. In Dr. Roxy's case, she wasn't properly discharging patients. There are so many of these folks breaking rules and laws all over the place from issues with their practice, and even with Dr. Roxy, operating recovery homes and having issues there as well. I mean, look at Dr. Simmons. The investigation into the Tanisha Walker case discovered that he used an illegal technique, but he was not locked up, and he's still operating right now in Miami. They did not take his credentials away, and if you wanna see that story, I'll leave the link below. Kudos to the Ohio State Board for holding this woman accountable. They seem to have a higher level of integrity and safety, at least higher than the Florida State Board. Two quick things though. One, Dr. Roxy worked so hard to become a doctor, only to get on TikTok and play with her professional license like it was a video game. This was a professional educated woman. She knew better. She was taking her eyes off a patient just to communicate with people on TikTok. And then the patients. If you see this lady live streaming her patients and you signed up to do it too, nobody should have been interested after that. Being starstruck over a TikTok surgeon, this is real life, real complications these women are experiencing and real consequences for Dr. Roxy. She was 100% out of order and the state board made the right decision. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started. Shout out to the ladies Amy and Nikki sitting pretty. I appreciate you all. Special thank you to Carrie C, Earl, Rashad, and Kelv with Southern Sky. Don't forget that you can support this channel as well. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis? Want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share. Oh my God, this is bad. Very, 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 very bad. My people will say, you can't save to master at the same time. You can't save too much. There is a reason for that adage. This is not even possible. I'm so happy. I'm glad they had her accountable for her actions. Why risk it all? At least now she have enough time to do her TikToking. All the sleepless nights, her practicing money just in the blink of an eye. She has lost everything she has worked hard for. I'm so happy that she's still young. She can still get going. Go back and do the right thing. So, guys, I think why you risk it all? Your health for BBL for okay, even if you want to do it, do it right. Do it. Make your research very wrong. This life is just once. You don't have two lives. You're not a cat. It's only cats that that have seven lives. We are human. We only have one life. So you protect it with everything you have. Why put your why trust your life in the hand of a careless TikToker? She's not meant to be a doctor. She's not meant to be a surgeon. At least there's enough time for her to go out up and, and do her TikToking in peace. Imagine. Guys, it doesn't make sense. Be contented with what you have. Like, I don't understand. Okay, even if you don't want to be content, go to the right doctors for your procedure. We have certified doctors to document your, your surgery. Is this something to be proud of? I just need to be proud of ladies. Like, I don't understand. Like, me, I wouldn't dare it. I'm scared. Like, ordinary, ordinary cuts. It takes time to be talk more of a full surgery. Guys, wow. I'm so happy they had her content for her action. And I believe that more people will learn from this. Those that have intention of, see, social media is going to be the downfall of, of so many people. TikToking. At the detriment of people, at see if you just take it or bring back lives. When the person is when the person is gone, who would they blame? They will blame her. Why did you go for surgery? Should have been contented with what you had. Negligence. So guys, please, we can do better. We can do better. Please be contented with what you have. But if you must do surgery, go for certified 
satisfied ones that will carry the procedure without complication. Thank God she's young. She will have a way around it. She will figure out that I just wish she doesn't slip into depression. I pray she doesn't commit suicide. So guys, hope hope you've learned one or two from this. Please, anything you are doing, especially when it has to do with human life, please protect it like it's, it's yours. Protect it. See, when people are dying, right, that's the reason why it should be the cause of someone's death. The lesson, please. Protect life, not destroy it. It's, guys, what do you think about this whole thing? Now let's have a pin in the comment section. See you on the next one. Bye bye.